Hi, I wanted to make this screencast to show how important the discussion is. I made this applet. I thought it was wonderful. I always think my applets are wonderful. And in this applet, you click on the new equation button and it generates a new equation down here. But it also randomly decides how many decimal places the student is supposed to round to, 0, 1, or 2. And so, for example, in this one, he would call up a calculator, put in 5 plus minus divided by 2 equals 2 point minus 2.5. That's how many decimal places. Click here, minus 2.5, hit enter. It says, yes, you got it. And then it kind of gives a graphic thing. It says, here's 0 to minus 5. You were supposed to divide it in 2. Let's see how it looks. And minus 2.5. The problem was that every time it generated a new equation, it would randomly choose. So instead of concentrating on the equation and working out how to solve a one step and how to round, he also had to see if I had tricked him by changing the amount of decimal places. And I was working on the forum with something else and a teacher wrote in, he said, it just confuses them. And I said, you know, you're right. That's exactly what it does. So I simply took that random thing out and made it so that it was fixed over here. So either the student or the teacher can fix the number of rounding places that it will always ask for. And no matter what new equation, it stays at that number of rounding places. So the point was, it never even occurred to me that that was just going to bother the student. It wasn't going to help him learn what we wanted him to learn in this applet. It was just going to annoy him that he didn't check that it changed the number of decimal places that he was supposed to round to. And he put in the wrong answer here, rounding to a different number of decimal places. And it says, no, you got it wrong. When he just remembered the last time it was one decimal place. So my point was, we need also to work together um, to construct applets that are very useful and help our kids learn and not be frustrated by the mathematics.